in this video. John Mee speaks about the lack of credit for 2020 title. Names Mark Marquez as the favorite for 2022. I don't think I'm an idiot, says Franco Morbidelli. And Maverick Vinales says he has seen a lot of evil at Yamaha. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. 2020 World Champion Joan Mir gets a lot of hate from a lot of MotoGP fans and many even call him the accidental champion. The fact that he could not win even a single race in this title defending season, for whatever reason that might be, does not help his case either. Mir himself believes that the fact that he won the title with Suzuki and not with the usual contenders like Honda, Yamaha or Ducati makes his title even more worthy of recognition. But sadly, that has not been the case. Speaking about him not getting enough credit for winning the title, Mir started. I don't think we have been given the credit we deserve. That title has the value it has and I'm not going to reevaluate it anymore. The only thing I can do is win more to prove myself and to the people that nothing has been a coincidence. The reason I came to Suzuki was because of the difficulty of making Suzuki win the title. If I had gone for Honda or Yamaha or Ducati, they have won titles more recently and I would be just one more in their list. But by winning with Suzuki for the first time in modern era, I was expecting a little more recognition from the people. Thank God my career is not finished. I have a lot to give. I have won only in my second year and I think with every year passing, I have a little more to offer. So for me, it is not a big deal that people don't recognize it. Coming back to the 2022 season, Peko said that Fabio is the reigning world champion, so he is the title favourite. Mark on the other hand said that nobody is the favourite this year. But Joan Mir has a clear favourite and it is not the reigning world champion. Joan Mir said, I am looking forward to a year with a very high level and very fast races. Although Fabio Quartararo won the championship last year, Marc Marquez has been and is the rider to beat. He is a rider who has defined the excellence in recent years. The two of them are the rivals right now, but it is clear that Marc's experience is something that will help him in the future. Franco Morbidelli has had a couple of roller coaster seasons in the last two years. In 2020, he almost won the title and started 2021 as one of the clear favourites. But his 2019 spec Yamaha was not at all competitive in the 2021 field. And to make matters worse, he had a knee injury initially suffered while motocross training at the VR46 ranch. The surgery to fix his knee ruled him out for much of the second half of the season and even when he came back, he did not have the strength to be competitive over full race distance. But 2021 was not all bad for him. The Maverick Vinales fiasco meant that he got the much deserved promotion to the factory team and after a long rehabilitation over the winter break, his knee is now as good as it can be. He might be fit and looking very competitive at the pre-season test, but he does not consider himself to be a title favourite or anything like that. Speaking about the 2022 season in general, Franco started. It is going to be a brilliant year for MotoGP. I am just expecting surprises after surprises from this season. Speaking about his expectations and goals for 2022, Franco continued. I will try everything. I will give my maximum and do my job in the best possible way. After the season we had last year, if I were to say this will be my year, that would be idiotic and I don't think I am an idiot, so I am not going to say it. 2021 has not been easy for Maverick Vinales either. In his life away from the track, it was very very good at times and at other times it was very devastating. Also in the paddock, the highs and lows were plenty. Speaking in an interview, starting with the ups and downs of his personal life in 2021, Maverick said, Life showed me its two faces last year. On one hand, my daughter was born and on the other hand, I have lost a close cousin. I lived the hardest part of life. But above all, it has made me see that you have to enjoy the moments. And when I say the moments, I mean the moments with people. Coming back to the paddock, in 2021, he went from winning the first race in Qatar to finishing last at Sachin Ring and from getting back on the podium at Assen to getting suspended and fired by Yamaha and finally reuniting with his old Suzuki teammate at Aprilia. When asked about the split with Yamaha and Lynn Jarvis's harsh words after the split, Vinales said, Honestly, I think silence is the best answer. There is nothing else to say. Very few people really know what happened inside there. Let me tell you this. As a result of my situation at Yamaha, I have seen a lot of evil. I met some good people there. But there were also a lot of bad people. And that whole experience has made me a little colder with the people outside of my life. If you made it till here, help me out. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? The new season starts this week and you definitely need a place to get all the MotoGP news and gossip without scrolling through hundreds of websites. So do it. Do it right now. Hit the subscribe button.